So first of all, we need to remember, all right, so we have our two triangles. We need to determine what the sine, cosine, and tangent are. Well, remember, ladies and gentlemen, for any triangle, all right, the first important parts, you need to make sure you have a right triangle. So for any triangle you're looking at, you need to make sure you identify what the angle is and where the right angle is. Once you have the right angle, the easiest part is to always find the hypotenuse because it's directly across from right, your right angle. Then to be able to find the adjacent side, your adjacent side connects your angle with your hypotenuse. And your opposite is going to be directly across from your angle. So what they're asking us to do is to find the sine, cosine, tangent. Remember, sine of your angle theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine of theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent of theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. Then they said the, the actual six trigonometric functions, so cosecant, remember, is going to be the reciprocal. So cosecant of theta is hypotenuse over opposite. Secant is of theta is hypotenuse over adjacent. And cotangent of theta is adjacent over opposite. So what we notice here is I look at these triangles. They're all written the same. However, I don't know what my um, adjacent side is, do I? I don't know what this side is. So to do that, I need to use my Pythagorean theorem. So I could say my hypotenuse hypotenuse squared is equal to my leg squared plus my other leg squared. So I could say 3 squared is equal to a squared, let's call this a, which I don't know, plus 1 squared. So I get 9 equals a squared plus 1. So a equals the square root of 8. <clears throat> then I do the same thing over here. I do 6 squared equals Let's call this a squared again. a squared plus 2 squared, so I get 36 equals a squared plus 4, minus 4, minus 4. 32 equals a squared, square root, square root. a equals the square root of 32. Now, one thing you are going to want to make sure you can do is notice you can simplify the square root of 32, right? Right? So if I was going to simplify the square root of 32, I could rewrite that as the square root of 16 times 2, right? So a is going to equal 8 square root of 2. I'm sorry, 4 square root of 2, right? As this can be reduced as well to 2 square root of 2, right? 8 can be rewritten as square root of 4 times the square root of 2. And you could take the square root of 4, so it's 2 square root of 2. So really, let's write that down correctly. So you could say 2 square root of 2, and this one is 4 square root of 2. And, and what you notice? Yeah, it's just double, right? So are they going to have the exact same sign? Are they going to have the exact same? Trigonometric functions? Yeah. Let's just, do, let's just do the first three just to double check, though, just to prove it. And then we'll move on. So all you guys need to do now is do sine. Let's do sine of theta for this one. Well, that's going to be 1 over 3. Well, sine of theta for this one equals 2 over 6, which reduces down to 1 third. All right? Let's do cosine. Cosine of theta is going to equal 2 square root of 2 over 3. And this one is going to equal cosine of theta equals 4 square root of 2 over 6. Well, 4 6 reduces down to what? 2 thirds. OK? So you guys can see as you follow along the rest of this, for time purposes, I'm not going to complete this. But you guys can see all this is is just the exact same, but you're just reducing it, right? So therefore, you can prove that, it's the, that they are the same. The main important thing, guys, when you're doing right triangle trigonometry is you have to make sure you have your all three sides of your triangle, the um, adjacent, hypotenuse, and opposite side of your triangle. All right? So that's it. You guys can finish the rest of that problem.